so I was going to ask, why is classifying freight so important? Okay. So the LTL carriers use the NMFC guide to determine their rates. So the rate tariffs are all based off the class of the freight. So you have to know what the class of the freight is in order to uh, get the rate. Uh, it's not like some of the international shipments, which are purely based on uh, the density of an item. So they actually go by the classification of the item. Okay. And, and the lower the freight class, the, the lower the cost normally? Generally, the lower the cost, yes. And does the NMFC class have to do anything with the HTS number on like the inbound side of things? It's a similar uh, classification. Um, just like you would have to classify over there, we would have to classify for domestic shipments in the NMFC. So basically, there's three different numbers that we classify by. <laughs> we do NMFC for domestic. Right. We do HTS for imports, U.S. imports, and then there's a Schedule B number for U.S. exports. So yes. So all there's three different three classifications, could, huh? Could be in play on a given shipment. Yes. Okay, interesting. So is the when you're classifying LTL, um, can you use the same NMFC class if it is in a full truckload and it's the same commodity? So when you're dealing with truckload, the class doesn't really matter because you're um, reserving the whole you have the whole trailer so it's just you're uh, you're basically purchasing the trailer for the whole it's trailer. just a truckload just rate a truck and the nmfc rate. number does not matter correct for okay. truckload that's purely an ltl uh, necessity okay Thank you.